everybody. Welcome to another episode of Sugar Free Self Care TV. So I'm so excited today because I have an amazing guest and I can't wait to interview her. So I have my client here, Noemi. She has been working with me for about nine weeks now and she is amazing. Um, we have actually been working through a lot of things, but I just wanted to bring her on today to help you guys see what it's like, you know, hear her story about eating sugar-free, what it was like before, and how she's um, managing that now. So thank you so much, Noemi, for being here. Thank you for having me. <laughs> so um, tell us a little bit about yourself, Noemi. Um, so what were you doing before your, you met me in terms of like how you're eating and, and why did you reach out to me? Um, yeah, so one of the biggest things, um, what I was doing before is um, I work at a gym part time. So I already um, had that like, had that foundation about exercising and stuff, but I wanted to change the way I was eating, um, especially because I during, um, you know, uh, sometimes during difficult times and stuff, like I would stress eat a lot. And I wanted to change that because um, I want to be like a good role model for other people. And so it's like, if I'm going to be a role model in what I do, I, you know, wanted to be a better role model, um, in what I do all the time, which includes eating. <laughs> and, and you said you were in the gym, you work as a, a trainer? Yeah. Yep. I work as a group fitness instructor. So, um, well, you know, right now, um, you know, we, um, there's everything's you know different but the big thing is like you see people you know two or three times a week and they get a chance to kind of see you know who you are and sometimes even on social media so um, the biggest thing is um, you know um, we sometimes help people and um, you know with exercise but at the same time I, again I wanted to be a really good role model for them and um, I found out that I really probably wasn't you know, as good as I could be with my eating. So that's, that's been um, a big game changer. So tell me a little bit more about that. Like what, why do you think you weren't being a role model with your food? Like, how are you eating before? Um, so I guess my biggest, kind of like my biggest hurdle before um, was like the stress eating. Um, like if there is like a big project coming up at like my, uh, my day job, or if it was like, um, you know, some, something really like stressful. Um, I would just eat a lot of different things and I would say like, Oh, I really, um, you know, I would like eat whatever I wanted, I guess, and say, Oh, well, I'm, I'm going to exercise. So it's probably going to be okay. Um, but what I didn't realize was, um, now that, um, I have kind of have to change the way I exercise in general, cause you know, we're not at the gym. Um, it's like, I realized that how big of a, I guess of a crutch that was and um by what kind of eating it was like anything I wanted to eat um but I was kind of using that as like an enabler um and it's not it's not um it's not there anymore so it's like what else can I do you know to feel good um and you know every time I would eat food depending on what I was eating it would be like a really quick like oh I feel good right now but it wasn't like sustainable but uh, I mean, that would happen like in moments of like super high stress, I would just eat whatever I felt like eating. And um, that way I could like feel good momentarily, you know, and then that is not sustainable over a period of time. Yeah. Like what, what were you noticing that was like, how is that affecting like say your energy or your weight or your mood maybe? Um, well, the, I get, yeah, the biggest thing is, um, energy like I could feel like I would feel good and then I would just completely crash <laughs> like maybe like after I ate like a bunch of certain kinds of food like I would either feel like a heartburn or like my stomach would hurt a little bit um, I feel bloated but the bit and those were like you know an hour or two later but what would come first would be like the crash after eating food um and that was like I'm like, I can't go on feeling like this. Cause that was kind of the biggest reason I, I wanted to like reach out and, and work with you because, you know, I, I, um, you know, I know you've, you know, I've known you over a period of years and I, I was like, I trust your, you know, a lot of the things that you do, a lot of your work. And I'm like, if there's somebody that's going <laughs> to know and help, you know, um, but yeah, it was like 
crashing. It was like, I would eat and then I would feel good. And it was like tank down really fast. And then, you know, I would get either feeling groggy or like, uh, you know, just sleepy. And I'm like, I can't, this can't be right. <laughs> this can't be normal. Um, and then I noticed, you know, then I started noticing that it would only happen when I was like super stressed out that I would eat certain things. So, um, you know, it's, it, it, it was something that was like really eye opening for me because that was how I used to eat. And now I understand, you know, a little bit more on the why and how it doesn't, it doesn't have to be that way. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, I think that's a big piece of it. Like with the stress eating, um, it's definitely, I feel like something not a lot of us are aware of. Mm -hmm. Um, and especially when you're talking about like, you're noticing that pattern and then you're seeing that it's affecting you physically. Um, mm -hmm. I think that's so important to just notice that stress eating really like having that behavior can Im impact your, um, your results over time if it's consistent and it's not really addressed. Um, so what did you think was most helpful in starting to make a shift in changing your eating habits? Because as we all know, changing our eating behaviors is not the easiest thing. So, so how did you get started on that? And um, what do you think helped to make a difference for you? Um, the biggest thing was just trust, trusting that, um, you know, this, this works. Um, it was one of those things where, um, I trusted the process and I was consistent about it, but you know, the hardest part was that, um, like that change, because I'm like, what if I feel hungry? You know, what if I feel hungry between meals or, whatever. And it's like, oh, well, there's, you know, things that you can snack on. So like when we started cutting down on like carbs and sugar, I was like, but I need those. Because <laughs> that's Wait. what had made, you know, made me feel good before. And, um, and then come to find out I actually don't need them. And then I started realizing like week over week, my body did change. Um, you know, the moment I, you know, I, and then I write everything down. So it's like, um, you know, writing down like what I was eating every day. And then I'm like, oh, okay, I ate these things and I felt really good all day. And then you just keep repeating that process. And then before you know it, you're a few weeks in and you're like, now I see my body changing too. But my biggest like motivator was kind of like knowing that I, you know, I could trust this and day over day became a week, became two weeks. And then I'm like, wow, this, this is really like working for me. And I don't feel you know, I don't feel that crash anymore. So that was kind of like, it's so nice to know that that that's, you know, the, like the biggest motivator for me is like, I didn't like feeling that way. And I know I don't, I don't feel that way anymore. So it's like a very like consistent energy, which again, before it was like really up, down, up, down during the day, depending on what I was eating. And I didn't like that, that feeling. So, um, and of course the, you know, the other benefits I have is like, I have energy all day, um, and then I, when I work out, you know, here at home, like I can see the changes in my body and that's been like a huge thing too, because I didn't really understand how this type of eating was going to like also change that, I guess. Cause I was like, Oh, I'm not working out as long. I'm not even working out as, you know, as, you know, as long as I used to, but it's because it's been sustainable over, you know, these weeks. Yeah. And you brought up a good point earlier when you said a lot of us, especially, you know, we met in a CrossFit gym and it's like when there's that mentality of like, you could just work out everything you eat. And so I think mm -hmm. it's really like, that's a thought that kind of trips up a lot of people is that you could just work it all out. But, you know, but the truth is you're still feeling bad when, when you didn't figure out the food. Mm -hmm. And so, and also it's true, like people, um, can also not work out like crazy. Like you don't have to work out like, mm -hmm. you know, five hours in the gym every day just to live like a healthy lifestyle. Yeah. And I, yeah. And, and actually, yeah, it's, it's almost like I can do a, a, a short workout and feel just as good and get even better results because of the way I eat, because I don't have to like, I don't want to say compensate, but I feel like that was kind of what I was doing was compensating for my eating habits at the gym. And, mm. um, and I feel like, I think a lot of us, like I said, um, I think that's kind of like that, like eye opening experience that, that fact that you don't have to do that anymore. Um, 
now if I choose to be at the gym for that long when gyms open back up, then, you know, then I can, but I don't have to work, work as, as long and I still feel very good and I still get, well, I get, I get even better results, you know, because of food and I don't feel terrible after I eat. <laughs> yeah. And so, um, how are you eating now? Like what, mm-hmm. you know, give us a quick overview of what you, like the type of food you're eating before and then the type of food you need, you eat now and mm-hmm. let us know like, um, you know, how sustainable that is for you. Yeah. So I have like a list of favorite foods, uh, you know, within the list, I have a favorite <laughs> list. Um, because there's stuff I really like combinations of. So, um, like an example is like, um, I really realized that I like certain foods, like certain veggies a little bit more like, or, um, it's accessible. Like I can get like, let's say bok choy or whatever really easily. Um, but the eggs and the protein. And then the other thing is I always was like, Oh, I I need to eat to get protein. I, I would need to eat four eggs in one sitting, but I realized I really like like a little bacon mixed into it, you know? So like, I'll like, get the bacon and then I'll put the eggs in it. It's just like, you know, but it's like, but it's also like, Oh, I want more protein. Well, I kind of like tofu too. So I like started mixing it in and now I have like a little dish of what I really like to eat every day. And then if I want to mix it up, I, I like, I like started experimenting with other foods that I normally don't, but I like, you know, um, like some of the cheese or, you know, like uh, coconut oil. I really like cooking with that. If I have to add any or butter, but the biggest thing is just kind of like writing it down. And then what I was doing is day over day, I was like, oh, today I want to try this combination of food to see if I like it. And so that was actually really helpful because now I have like a combination of what I normally like. And that way I, um, whatever I feel like eating, I have, you know, like a, like a, like I said, a little mix of things. Um, but it's changed the way I eat because now I know what works and what keeps me feeling really full. And I re- I've always liked avocado and it's, <laughs> it's yeah, always, so good. So, so <laughs> it's, it's so good. And I'm like, Oh good. You know? Um, but the biggest thing was always like fats. I was kind of always like, well, we shouldn't be eating fat. Like I should be staying away from it. Um, but in reality, it's like, it, it has helped me keep, keep, you know, sustaining that because it's like, this is what I eat and I don't even really feel hungry, you know? Um, and then when I try, um, all the intermittent fasting, like, I don't even feel the difference, you know, during the day or at night, whenever I'm fasting, like my body actually feels really good. I don't have like a headache. I don't, I don't have anything. Like I don't have any cravings. It's, it was like really, um, again, trusting the process. I'm like, Oh, I'll try it. You know, I'll try it. I want to try it. I want to see if it works and well, it does work. (laughs) So then (laughs) it's like, now I know what I need to eat and, and how my body, how well my body reacts to like all these uh, eating habits that I didn't have before. Yeah. Yeah. And I love that you, um, first of all, you did acknowledge, like we are told a lot that the fats really, you know, aren't good for us and that they'll hurt our body. But, um, you know, it's awesome though, that when you do reintroduce those foods into your diet, it really does help to keep that energy steady. It helps Mm -hmm. you to stay fuller longer and those cravings you had went away. Um, and I also like that you said the piece about you, you were planning your food every day and you were writing it down. I think that's really important because I think that awareness of, first of all, like what we eat and, and tracking that and just knowing what works mm-hmm. can help that long-term success. Cause you, you're, you're just aware of what you're eating. Like, you know what you're putting in your body. Yeah. And it's been really helpful because I, I like visualizing something before I do it. So Mm -hmm. when I write it down, I'm like, oh, it's going to be this many eggs and this, you know, much bacon or whatever. But it's like, when you map it out, it's like, oh, well, you know, this is definitely what I like eating. Um, But it also helps me realize, like, it's my own proof of what's been working all these weeks. It's not just me thinking like, oh, I think it went well because of these things. Like, I wrote it down, I stuck to it. And it's like, there it is. Like, this is what I ate, you know? So, you know, I stuck to what I was eating because again, it was working day over day and I'm like, oh, well then I'll, you know, it's easily sustained Mm -hmm. because you know, it works and how do you know it works? Well, you did it for yourself. You did it for yourself. You wrote it down, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And you, you tried it, you're willing to try it and trust in it. And then, um, Mm -hmm. you saw that worked. Um, and I was wondering like what, what physical changes 
what else did you notice about your body? Like you mentioned, you felt like your fitness was equivalent, if not better than what it was like before when you're working out like a lot. And this girl's yeah. a beast, by the way, she's like crazy in the gym. But anyway, <laughs> but what physical um, differences did you notice? Um, just physical, like, um, I mean, I do have a scale that I check, you know, uh, you know, periodically to see kind of like what I ate and how it affected me. But the biggest change was my, um, like my change in like my size. Cause I was already kind of like, I've been kind of smaller cause I, I used to be really, really big. Um, like, but even then I'm, I'm like, Oh, well maybe it won't make a difference. But now that I've been checking it week over week, like I went down, you know, like in sizes of my clothes, but again, it's like sustainable, like, or like even just like my abdominal area, like I noticed like some of that, like, um, like again, you exercise a lot, but you're like, oh, this area can't get, cannot get more toned or shaped or whatever. And you're like, oh, it is. That's so weird, you know. And then you're <laughs> like, well. And then at first you think it's weird, and then you're like, well, it makes sense. I've been doing these things to help myself feel better, but now my body is reacting to all the food I'm eating. But yeah, it was like my biggest change was like, like. I could see my abs and I'm like, well, that's weird. Like I hadn't been able to see them before and I was working out much longer. Um, you know, just like changes like that, but it's, it's been really eye opening um, because of that reason that it's like day over day, you, you do it because you know what it, what it, it's like to feel good. And then your body starts changing with it and you're like, Oh, well, cool. You know? So uh, you know, but, and luckily that, you know, um, I already had a foundation of exercising, but I think exercising is just another piece to it because it's like, you have to be consistent with your body, but eating overtakes the amount of exercise, you know, like you can't, you can't exercise more if you're eating terribly. <laughs> right. You can't out train a bad diet. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's it. <laughs> right. Right. And, um, uh, I'm curious, like, um, you know, what was the weight difference in the nine weeks? I think if you don't the mind nine sharing? weeks was like, it was closer, like so far it's been like eight or nine pounds. Oh, so, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I'm like, I'm actually under, like I, I hadn't been under like a certain weight in a long time. And I'm like, I haven't been this weight since high school. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> yeah, That's amazing. So, yeah. It's just like, I, I was like doing the numbers like yesterday and I'm like, is that right? And then I checked it again. I'm like, oh, okay. You know, but again, it was like just the, the difference in my body and how like my clothes fit. And then when I finally checked the scales, like, is that number right? Like, I haven't been <laughs> this weight since high school. <laughs> oh so my it was gosh. like, yeah, this is really cool. But again, it's like, I hadn't originally planned on it being about my weight and my, my like physical because I wanted to feel better, but it's been a really huge bonus that it's like, it's been, it's been nice to know like, okay, it might even go down even more because I'm going to sustain this. And then eventually, you know, um, I'm sure, you know, it'll be lower. <laughs> I just, have, again, it's like, I haven't been in the, the one thirties and <laughs> since high school. <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't actually know that. Though, so that's really oh, okay. Cool. Uh, and you know, and I was, I didn't told you, Oh, it's actually yeah. on this week's log. Now that I think about it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, shoot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's so awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. And, and you know, it really is that willingness you had. I think that's always the number one thing like that, that willingness to just kind of like, you know, bet on yourself, try something different because what you're doing now isn't working and then right. being willing to take that consistent action to see what works and what doesn't. And then you took those steps like every day. And I'm telling you guys, she is one of the most <laughs> like self-motivated people I've ever met. Like sometimes I just even like, you know, text her sometimes I'm going like, are you okay? And she's like, yeah, I'm fine. And I'm like, oh, okay. But she, she has had that, you know, she was able to um, have that willingness to move forward and see those results for yourself. So I do want to acknowledge that work you put in. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Um, do you have any advice for someone who is on the fence with, on working with me and doing this low carb kind of sugar-free way of eating? Um, tr just trust the process. Like I, I, I mean, I've known, you know, Charmaine for a long time and, um, 
I think we mentioned this like on the first call, like I had been thinking about how I was going to change my eating already. And I wanted to go with somebody I knew and I trusted because I, I know the kind of work that you've been doing. And I've been like totally thinking about it for a while, even before I did this, because I was like, oh, I really like knowing the person I'm working with. And so I was like, you know what, I'm, I know her, I, I, and I trust you, you know, like, and, and it's hard because I, I feel like that is a difficult thing when you're trying to start something new is knowing that you can trust the process, mm. but also trust you as a coach. And I feel like that's like the biggest thing is just knowing that you already, you're, you're helping me and more than just eating. It's been like the other ways of thinking that have helped me stay on track, you know, because I've done other food regimens and I've done other things and it, nothing has been as sustainable as this has been. Um, especially like when it came down to the cravings, I was like, Oh, I'm sure I'm going to want cake again, like next week. And I'm <laughs> like, Oh, I actually don't, my body doesn't feel like it wants it, you know? Cause it's like, you get like so stuck in that mentality. Like I need a piece of chocolate. Or I need a piece <laughs> right. of cake. And I mean, it doesn't mean I can't eat it. Cause you know, I, I, you know, having that, that knowing that you can eat those things when you plan it, then you understand like this is, and, and that was actually eye opening in itself. Now that I think about it was, um, trusting the process and then having that one little like part where you can eat what you want to eat. I'm like, Oh, let me eat this one thing I used to eat. And then my body's like, no, don't do that anymore. <laughs> and it was like, it, again, that was like, again, just trusting you knowing that this is, this has been working, you know, and it's, it's been like, that's how I know it's sustainable. It's like these things work and I feel good and I don't, I don't not, I'm not tempted to go down the street and say, Oh, I'm just going to drive through the, you know, down to the whatever and get what I want to eat, you know, <laughs> right. that's not, it's not there anymore. So. Yeah. And I think that's huge. I think, um, when people, when we do eat less sugar and less carbs, I, I that was one of my fears too. I felt like, Oh, but you know, I'm going to feel like, you know, I'm going to miss it and I'm going to want it. But, but yeah, when you actually go through it and you just realize like, Oh, you actually just don't need it. And when you mm -hmm. do have it, you just feel kind of sick sometimes. Like it's not as enjoyable as you thought. So I thought, you know, that's a great point you, you put there. Like it, your body actually tells you what it needs and mm -hmm. what it doesn't want. And you get to listen to your body and respect that. Yeah. Yeah. So just trust, just trust in general that you're going to be, be much better off doing it this way than any other thing that I've ever tried. So. Oh, thank you so much, Noemi. I really appreciate that. You have just been so awesome to work with. Um, so I really invite you guys, like if you're on the fence, but you do know you want to change, if you want to start and you want to be featured on my channel, just like Noemi, um, go ahead and look at the description. You could sign up with your free consultation for, with me, a 30 minute low carb consultation, and you'll be my next feature on my channel. But anyway, thank you so much, Noemi, for joining us. You have been amazing, and I can't wait to see what else you accomplish moving forward. Yay, thank you. All right, thank you. All right, bye, you guys.